Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm gonna to tell you about this beautiful 2019 Infinity QX50 Essential that we have for sale. This one is very nicely equipped with features. This has the upgraded uh, sensory package, giving you lots of uh, standard equipment. The sensory package bundles up about $7,000 worth of equipment into one cool package. This is a clean Carfax vehicle serviced and checked by our Infinity certified techs. In fact, who better to buy a pruned Infinity from than a new Infinity retailer like us? Our techs work on these vehicles on a daily basis and are very familiar with them. All right, so we have the original build sheet on this QX50. They're not all created equal. Uh, the Essential has a base MSRP of 45,150, but this has about $10,000 in options. Uh, the biggest one's a sensory package. That was $7,500, giving you these upgraded 20-inch wheels, uh, semi-inline leather appointed seating, heated and cooled front seats, advanced climate control that cleans and filters the air, um, Two-way passenger uh, power lumbar support, uh, motion-activated uh, tailgate, so you just make a kicking motion uh, underneath the bumper and the tailgate will open or close. Rear side window sunshades, unique cube design LED headlights. Uh, front adaptive front lighting system, so the headlights will turn into the corners for better nighttime visibility. Enhanced interior ambient lighting, natural maple wood interior trim, ultra suede headliner, uh, metallic cargo area finishers, memory, driver's seat, and mirrors, and steering wheel. Outside mirrors with a reverse tilt down function, power tilt and telescoping steering wheel, heated steering wheel, and Bose uh, performance series sound system with 16 speakers. Then we have the Pro Assist package, $550, giving you backup position intervention, a distance control assist, uh, intelligent cruise control, and rear cross traffic alert. And those are the uh, big uh, ticket uh, features. Oh, we also have the welcome lighting, $425. So basically, when you approach the vehicle, it senses you have uh, the intelligent proximity key on your person, and then it'll kind of create a cool ambient effect by lighting up the hole underneath the vehicle with that really nice welcome lighting. Really is cool, especially when you have it in a garage. It really creates this really neat ambient effect. Um, so there you have it. Uh, this uh, color is Hermosa Blue and Graphite. Nice uh, interior, big panoramic roof. You have a power sh sunshade to dim things down. Uh, the sunroof also opens. There's that ultra suede headliner, so it's basically aesthetic suede cloth material. Very premium feel and look to it. Uh, 2019 is a great year for the QX50 because it got a complete uh, ground up redesign, brand new platform. Uh, the previous generation QX50 was uh, discontinued 2017, was the last model year. They skipped uh, 2018, they went right to 2019 with a brand new model of the QX50. And uh, in pretty much almost every way, it's superior than the uh, outgoing QX50. More fuel efficient, bigger, spacious, more tech, more features. Um, yeah. All right, so let's keep on going talking about this one. So we have a drive mode selector. That'll make changes to st steering effort, transmission, things like that. CVD transmission offers an almost infinite amount of gear ratios. So you have that perfect gear ratio for that current driving situation. you also notice that the QX50 has a dual display system. This is also a brand new feature for uh, the redesigned 2019 model. The top screen is for navigation and parking camera. Also notice we have a 360 degree around view camera, great for low speed maneuvering. The bottom screen is a tablet -like interface for vehicle settings and apps. You can access the drive mode selector here as well. Drill down a little bit deeper. You can make changes to the engine and transmission. You can make changes to the steering effort. Active trace control brakes individual wheels to help the vehicle rotate a little bit better through the corners. You can shut that system on or off. Active engine braking, basically uh, what engine braking is, it's a natural tendency for a vehicle to slow down when you take your foot off the accelerator. That can make it a little bit more aggressive. Uh, so that way the vehicle slows down more aggressively. Uh, potentially, uh, you, you actually using your actual brakes less, so that could potentially maybe extend your brake life a little bit by having that system on. If you don't like the uh, the uh, if you don't like the um, extra deacceleration, you can always shut that system off. Power adjustable uh, steering wheel that tilts and telescopes. You have a blind spot warning, forward collision warning, forward emergency braking. Lots of great safety features. The QX50 features a beautiful curvaceous body, very beautiful. Lots of creases and curves. Uh, these crossover SUVs, they're very popular. They pay the bills uh, for a lot of automotive manufacturers, but when you're dealing with these crossover SUVs, they're kind of like big eggs or jelly beans on the wheels. They're not quite as <laughs> sleek or uh, sexy as coupes and sedans. So it's a little bit more of a challenge for automotive designers to make these cars look good. 
but Infinity, they did a great job, especially the front installing is very reminiscent of our beautiful Q50 and Q60 coupe and sedan. I noticed things like this. We have uh, the seam, this line where the uh, the hood meets the fender. Uh, normally the line's a little bit higher up, but uh, they conceal the line and it integrates into the body line. So you can see the line in the hood where it meets the fender. It continues to the door all the way to the rear of the vehicle. So there's a whole uh, synergy of design. This is a very well thought out car. It wasn't kind of just piecemeal together. They were thinking uh, very deeply about making this thing look good. And it's a lot of subtle things, uh, things that maybe you might not notice consciously, but subconsciously you might notice it. And that's kind of what makes a car look good. <laughs> Obviously, you know, uh, some, uh, some people think uh, other people look better or uglier than others. And, uh, you know, there's a science behind that. We might not understand why we think one person is attract more attractive than the other. It's kind of the same with cars, you know. We don't always understand why we think a car looks good, but it's things like this that the automotive designers really kind of stress about that subconsciously make us uh, think a car looks good or consciously. There's those uh, cube design LED headlights. And one other cool feature, one last surprise for the QX50 is the engine. For 2019, Infiniti had brand new engine technology in the QX50. Uh, it's called a VC turbo engine. It stands for variable compression. So basically this engine has a control rod that can mechanically change the compression ratio on the fly. Infiniti was working on this technology for about 20 years to the point where they thought it was reliable enough to put in a production vehicle. And reliable it has been. We started getting these uh, VC turbo QX50s in 2018, as 2019 models. It's now uh, June of 2022, and uh, the you know the jury is out. We've seen these engines with 50, 60, even 100,000 miles, and they've held up, and they've been very, very reliable for us. Great engines, and very efficient. So basically, going back to the engine, so it's a variable compression engine, so it's able to mechanically change the compression ratio on the fly. So for instance, if you're just kind of cruising along, the car can tell you don't need all that power. It'll put the compression ratio to a 14-1 compression ratio, which will calibrate the engine to make maximum fuel economy. But let's say maybe you have the drive mode selector in sport mode, you're getting aggressive on the throttle. The car can tell that you want more power, so it'll quickly uh, change the compression ratio to an 8 to 1 compression ratio, uh, which will give you a maximum output. Uh, 268 horsepower and about 280 pound-feet of torque. Uh, 280 pound-feet of torque is actually more torque then the naturally aspirated 3.7 liter V6 this engine replaces. So this engine is not only smaller, but it's also more powerful and more fuel efficient than the engine it replaces. Pretty cool stuff. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.